Hello scientists, welcome to JobalMed. Today I will be showing you how to draw mitochondria in Inkscape. And on this channel, you can find tutorials to draw scientific illustrations in Inkscape, Illustrator, and PowerPoint. So subscribe to JobalMed so you get to see all these videos. And without further ado, let's start to draw our mitochondria. First, let's grab the ellipse tool and Let's draw an ellipse like this. And we will go activate our uh, fill and stroke control here. And, and then we will put a gradient into our ellipse. And so now let's uh, also add an outline. So let's switch to the stroke paint tab and then activate a solid uh, fill in the stroke. This is a little bit too thick, so let's go to a stroke style to make it smaller. So the width, uh, let's use a 0.5 millimeter here. Uh, in this example, uh, you should adjust it according to the size of your illustration. So I always use a gray over here instead of instead of black because black can make your uh, illustration looks very tacky. So uh, I always use gray as the outline. So uh, this is the one I choose and to set it as the stroke, you need to right click on it and then select the set stroke then you will get uh, the color applied into the stroke. Okay, now we need to change the gradient a little bit. So uh, let's get back to our fill. And uh, in the fill, you see that uh, here is the name of your gradient. But what we need to do is to go over here to uh, click on this tool called the Create and Edit Gradients. And then you'll see the, this L-shape handle shows up. Uh, the circle boxes are for changing the colors. So uh, if you select it, put, uh, if you click one of the colors uh, down here in the swatches, then it will change the, the color into uh, the, the color that you tap on. And uh, we will, uh, I will select a lighter orange on the outside and uh, in the middle of the of the ellipse, I will put in a red over here. Okay, so this will be the uh, inner membrane of our mitochondria, and now we'll be creating the matrix. So let's make a copy of the uh, ellipse. So Control C, Control V to create a copy. And then I will select a very light orange as the fill that uh, comes into our new ellipse. Let me see. Okay. Uh, okay. I think I'll pick a lighter yellow for the color of the mattress. Uh, so that's um, first. We need to remove the stroke. So let's go to the stroke paint and then. Uh, click on this no paint Then the stroke will be removed and then we will need to create those compartments in the um, Mitochondria matrix. So let's come here to grab our uh, Rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle. So uh, I will fill a, a black dark color into the rectangle so we can see it and uh, now you see that it has a round corner. Uh, we don't uh, actually need that. So uh, let's drag on this uh, circle uh, button over here and then uh, drag it all the way to the top. To uh, be on top of the corner, then uh, you will have your sharp corners back again. Okay, we will uh, make this thinner and I will start duplicating it. Uh, so you can use Control D to duplicate your shape and on Mac it's Command D. So then you can very quickly make copies of the uh, shape and then you can drag it to the part that you want it to be. These um, rectangles needs to be intersecting with each other's. I'll speed up this part. Uh, this is just some minor adjustments. 
Okay, and there's something that we need to do uh, to make these rectangles into paths because then we can do some subtraction in the shapes. Uh, you'll see what I mean uh, later. So first let's select the rectangle and then go to the path uh, menu bar. And here in the path menu, you can see uh, this uh, function called object to path. So let's click on it. Then now you see that it has turned the object into a path, which you can manipulate uh, it through the to the vector anchor points, uh, which you were not able to do earlier when it is still a rectangle object. So uh, let's do that to all of our rectangles, object to path. Okay, so now they are all paths. Okay, once that's ready, we can uh, select all of these, including the uh, ellipse underneath them. So let's select all of these and then go to path and you'll see a function called exclusion. Click on it, then you will get uh, something like this. And you will see that uh, the, the parts that are overlapping has turned white. And now we need to break this shape apart. So let's select it and go to path and then here you will see a function called break apart. Let's click on it. Okay, so now these parts are individual paths. So uh, I can just remove them. All right, uh, so this will be our uh, matrix. So I will put it uh, in here, uh, maybe a little bit smaller. So, so it can create that intermembrane space. Okay, and so one last thing we need to do is to smoothen these corners to make uh, the mattress looks organic. So there's a very quick way to do it. Uh, so that's go to path and then go to path effects to activate this path effects window. Let's click on this plus sign, add path effect. And search for corners and then here, here you will see a path effect called uh, the fillet uh, slash chamfer. Let's use this to create the round uh, uh, corners for us. So uh, you will see that here uh, you can adjust the radius of this effect. So as you increase the radius of the corners effect, then you will see that it is starting to smoothen up the mattress for you. So this is the uh, mitochondria for your graphical abstract. You can use this uh, uh, to present your research on mitochondria. And so one last thing that uh, I want to address just in case if you encounter this uh, problem. For some of you, you might notice that after you apply the effect, your corners are uh, overly rounded and become uh, sharpened again. So uh, if this ever happened to you, uh, you can fix it. Well, one way is to decrease the radius, but you might uh, not want to do that because it adjusts the entire shape and some parts you want to keep it. So uh, we will do it uh, another way, which is we can go back to path and then make object to path. So now uh, you can edit these individual anchor points on your paths. So you can smoothen it up manually by yourself. So this is how you create a mitochondria in Inkscape. So uh, I hope this can help you with your research and subscribe to Dropout Matt if you'd like to see more of these tutorials. Let me know in the comments uh, what structure you need to draw for your research. And uh, they are very good inspirations for me. And uh, subscribe to Dropout Matt and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos.